Hey, okay, so I've got my foundation on and I use the BB Flawless and the pressed powder with the blending buds. Um, and when I put my face on, I kind of jump all over the place. So um, I don't want to put powder over my eyebrows. I don't want to do my mascara until after all of my blush and everything else is on. So what I'm going to do next is, um, is we're, I'm just gonna set, I'm just gonna do this in, a, like I said earlier, in a series. So what we're gonna need, or what I'm going to use for this part is the, refreshed rose water. I think that this is the most underestimated product in our lineup. Um, I'm also going to be using the Splurge Cream Eyeshadow in Elegant. And then um, my um, one of my favorite things in my makeup bag is this white pristine pencil. Um, and I'm going to create a little bit of an eyebrow lift and then I'll also do my eyebrows with infatuated pigment and our um, liner shader brush. So if you will, let's just start with my um, pristine. So what I do is I hold this very gently and I very lightly go underneath my eyebrow. Okay, so my eyelids are smooth because I have put primer on them and then I also put the pressed powder. So there is no slick, that it's just, um, it's smooth. So again, very lightly. Like you don't want it to look like you took a Sharpie. Okay, so then I just take my ring finger and I blend. And I and I kind of pull it down. Okay, so um, my, um, also still with my white, I go in here right on the inside of my eye. You wanna make sure that your um, pencils are clean when you do this. I sharpen my pencils almost every day. I have a, I have a mirror set up right here behind my computer, so. Cause using that little screen on the webcam is tricky. So after your um, eyes settle down from trying to poke yourself in the eye, then they'll actually make the whites of your eyes look whiter and also um, uh, make your eyes look brighter and bigger. I think one thing that um, gets us, I'm not gonna say it'll get us in trouble, but one thing that I think we do too much of is we put too much dark around our eyes. So I, again, this is just my opinion and this is just how I do it. So I take this white pencil and I've hit a pretty wide line right here at my lash line. And this one, I'm okay with it looking heavy because we're gonna cover it up. Okay, so there's the white. Okay, so from here, I, um, I'm i not gonna lie. I was a little nervous about cream eyeshadow because like I said, I like everything to feel dry um, and I was afraid that it would crease. It doesn't crease and it doesn't feel wet. Um, and it's really hard to tell that it's a cream, but it's very creamy, very um, soft um, it's so hard to explain but you just dab a little bit with the brush and you have to have this little brush too 
and it's um, all these little bristles are just very dense and close together to help give you just a beautiful application and I just dab a little bit of the extra in the lid so I don't just have a blob but um, I'm gonna put this on my eyelid but I don't want like this is really sparkly and pretty and glittery I don't want that much um, underneath my eye brow so let me let me show you oh that's a little too much light okay so I'm just gonna go right over the white And kind of go up to where you can feel the round of your eye like this is the round if that makes sense kind of in your crease and I and I put this on pretty pretty um, I want to see a lot of light and I want to see a lot of sparkle Mainly right here. That's where I want to see it. Okay, so now that I got that going, I'm just going to bring it up and I'm just going to kind of fade it in and get rid of that line up to the top, but not apply it all the way up. Does that make sense? Okay, then I'm also going to use the side of my brush and stick it in here just a little bit and I'm gonna line my eyes with this too so my mother's always said that as we get older you don't want to put a whole lot of shimmer and sparkle around your eyes because um, it can accentuate the fine lines and the wrinkles well I just turned 39 last month and so I'm just gonna pretend like I'm still young enough to do this but really I feel like it makes my eyes look a little brighter and a little more cheerful. So I just come all the way to the corner of my eye and all the way underneath here. And as you can see, I'm just going to do this one and get caught up. Okay, so from this point, now is when I like to do my eyebrows. So, um, like I said before, I use um, the liner shader brush. These are my, this is probably my, my, my most used brush. And I use Infatuated, which is a matte brown. And I'm going to squirt the rose water. Um, I've got these little, again, little to-go dishes. Or you can just use it in the lid of your pigment. But um, I'm just going to put a squirt of rose water in there. And just It's super liquidy now. I don't know if you can see in there. Okay, so the trick with your eyebrows, they say don't get right up on your mirror when you're doing them because they can really look drawn on quickly. So to step back, 
that's hard for me to do. So when I do it, I'm kind of all over the place to see. But I'm using super, like I don't even feel it wet. Super light strokes. And I'm also going to bring my natural eyebrow. I'm going to bring it in just a little bit to try to um, make my nose look a little thinner and also um, give my face shape just a little bit of a different shape. Okay, here's something else. So look at the difference already. Um, your eyebrows are sisters, not twins, so don't freak out that they're not exactly the same. So I'm going to just use the pointy side of my brush and I'm just going to bring it in a little bit. My mom held me down when I was 11 or 12 and tweezed my eyebrows and I've never really had to do anything with them since. So I can get blonde fuzzies to grow, but that's it. So I don't know if I'm ever going to get any hair right there. Probably not if I don't have it by now. Okay, so there's this eyebrow. So, let me just get through this one. You know what? Here's another thing. I know, especially people that have blonde hair, they're afraid to have defined eyebrows that they're going to look... Um, totally fake or way too dark or whatever, but your eyebrows, it's like the frame of a, of a painting. Of course the painting is, is beautiful, but without the right frame or with the right frame, I'll say, it just it can be completely different look. So, um, I can't, I, I kind of feel like I'm, I've turned into my grandma. I can't go anywhere without my eyebrows done. Well, that's not true. I'll run around without my face on. But I, if I have my face on, i got to have my eyebrows done. I just feel completely out of sorts without my eyebrows. So if you're blonde, just use a lighter, a lighter brown shade. Like beautiful is perfect for blondes. Sometimes I'll use a pencil, but I feel like when I use a pencil, especially because my um, eyebrows are so light, that the, my actual eyebrows um, look a little waxy. So, there we go. And yes, it takes me the longest amount of time to do my eyebrows. Because even though I say sisters and not twins, still hard. Light strokes. And if you feel like they're a little drawn on looking, then after this dries, then you can just run a, um, a, a, la a brow brush through it and it'll soften that look. So, there's my eyebrows. Okay, so with this same brush, I'm going to use um, Devious, which is a shimmer black. And I just use, where are you at? I just use the lid. And I'm just going to um, come in here. And now this is kind of, I'm not, I like the look of a tight line. But to be honest, um, I never usually think about it until after I have all my eye makeup on. But a tight line is where you actually lift your lift your eye like this and you go in there and you put like a black liner in at the root of your eyelashes. I'm, I'm not real good at that. So this is what I do. 
Okay, I got wet and I've kind of made it not super wet because I want more of a mm, kind of a paste maybe. I just don't want it to run. Okay, so I'm going to just paint the top of my eyelashes and I'm gonna get it as close to my root as possible. So, I can barely feel it. It makes me crazy to see eyelashes full of powder. If you're afraid to go back and forth, then um, just connect the dots. So lay the brush on there and then just do it again right beside it. Okay, so like, look at the difference. So see, one eye is easy for me to just go back and forth. The other eye, I have to do connect the dot. Okay, so I still have this brush. I'm just going to go the length of this brush on the corner of my eye out here. I don't wanna go all the way across because when I go back in with my um, eyeshadow, I'm gonna blend it in. So I'm just gonna go one dot. Make sure that it, it meets the top there. Okay, so that's it. Okay, so put this to the side. Now, um, I think, okay, remember how I said about the whole shimmer thing? I like to mix a matte and a shimmer. So, I know you guys have probably heard me say that purple eyeshadow wasn't for adults, but I really like it. So, I like, one of my favorite combinations is glamorous and daring. So I mix a matte purple with a sparkle dark brown, and I love it. So I'm just going to mix these up. And also, if you have, if you use, if you use our pigments, and they come here's like the lid. When this is empty, that's when I mix everything in it. If you don't have a little to-go box. So um, and daring. So sparkle brown and a matte purple. And I use the other end of our liner shader brush. And when you use um, mineral pigments, you don't have to see a lot of color on your, on your brush. So work it in to the tip and then tap off the extra. Okay, now so for this part, I go at my eye this way. And then after I get my color on, then I can blend it this way. So I'm just gonna find the round of my eye. And I'm just kind of dabbing to get that line started. Bring it in from the side, tie it together. And I think I got a little match in my brush, so I'm just gonna go over here to this side and do the same thing. When I get most of the color worked out, then I'll, I'll go in to blend it.
Another reason why I do my eye makeup first is because if I happen to have any um, little dust that falls, then I can snag it with my blush brush. Okay, so that's how I handle that. Now, in the same um, lid or dish that I've got my um, the matte violet and the sparkle brown, I just put a little bit of the rose water, and then I, I dip the same brush in it and just get a little bit of, of color on there. And now I'm, I'm making a paste. I don't want it to be super liquidy at all. But I press it, I press it in here and I want this to be flat-ish. And I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna line my lower lid. Or my lower lash line, I guess. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the top. I don't like black, I don't like the look of black liner. I just think it's too harsh, even though my hair is dark and I just feel like it's a little too harsh. So this just softens that. Okay, so I have that taken care of. So this video lasted a lot longer than I anticipated. So I will see you in the next one.